I'm about to explain something pretty complex, but super important. Article 6.4 of the Paris Agreement outlines new rules for international carbon trading. This will help countries fund their climate action plans and help support forest and nature-based solutions. Now, Article 6 is a big step forward, but there are also some key things we need to keep an eye on. The first is emissions reductions and removals. Under Article 6.4, reforestation can earn carbon credits, but there's a catch. The rules for removal might make it really tough for nature-based projects like restoring forests to qualify. Forests, for example, don't lock away carbon permanently. Fires and deforestation can release it. So making sure carbon removals are lasting, verifiable and protected from policy change is a big task. Rules need to be designed keeping in mind how forests and ecosystems actually work. And it's not just about Article 6.4. This could also shake up how countries trade carbon credits through bilateral or multilateral deals under Article 6.2. So what's your NIPS take? Nature needs a fair shot in carbon markets. Now, there's no central watchdog that ensures carbon credits meet high standards. Countries have to ensure integrity, transparency and accountability. So who's helping keep things in check? Civil society, of course. So what's your NIPS take? Watchdog groups and experts can call out shady deals and make sure these carbon trades actually help the planet. When a country sells carbon credits, it might have to adjust its national climate action plans to avoid taking credit for the same climate progress twice. This adjustment is called a corresponding adjustment. But there's a loophole. Some deals let one country support another's climate goals without needing this adjustment. So what's UNIP's advice? Stick to deals that don't require adjustments. They're clearer, more fair, and are truly effective. Okay, this is quite cool. Article 6.4 recognizes the importance of indigenous people's knowledge in shaping carbon markets. But recognition isn't enough. True climate action means valuing and integrating traditional practices. It's not just about ticking a box. So what's UNIP's message? Let's make sure indigenous knowledge isn't just included, but truly respected and applied in tackling climate change. For Article 6 to truly deliver, we need strong rules, transparency and respect for indigenous rights. That means high-intensity forest crediting, civil society keeping a watchful eye, and real cooperation. Get it right, and Article 6 can help forests and nature-based solutions more broadly play a powerful role in funding climate action. Let's make it count. Every action counts. Every fraction of a degree matters.